What is XRP? XRP is a digital asset for representing the transfer of value across the Ripple network, also known as the RippleNet, created and operated by an US-based technology company, Ripple Labs. The main goal for Ripple is to connect banks, payment providers, and digital asset exchanges to provide a solution for real-time and cost-effective global money transfers. XRapid is an on-demand liquidity solution provided by Ripple Labs. It is designed for financial institutes to use Ripple's XRP asset as a bridge currency between fiat currencies when making cross-border payments. XRP and XRapid are relying on Ripple's patented technology called the Ripple Protocol Consensus Algorithm, or RPCA in short, and all the information of Ripple accounts and XRP transactions are stored in a common shared ledger, also known as the XRP ledger. The ledger is managed by a network of independent validating nodes that constantly compare their transaction records. These nodes can belong to anyone, from individuals to banks. However, Ripple recommends its clients to use a list of identified, trusted participants, also known as Unique Node List, or UNL, to validate their transactions. The nodes in the Unique Node List continually exchange transactions with other nodes on the list, and the goal of consensus is for each node to apply the same set of transactions to the current ledger. Transactions that are agreed upon by a supermajority of nodes are considered valid. You can imagine this as a large group of trusted people, and the network needs agreement from all of them to make a decision. But if one of them doesn't agree, nothing will happen until the problem is solved. How does it work? Let's take a simple example. Bob from Australia wants to send $100 to Alice, who is based in India. Bob transfers the money via a service that is provided by a financial institution that is using the XRapid solution. The service then connects into asset exchanges in both the originating and destination country. Bob's $100 is exchanged into XRP, which provides the necessary liquidity to power the final payment. And in seconds, that XRP is exchanged into Indian rupees and is accessible by Alice from the local asset exchange. Ripple also offers other solutions that do not use the XRP cryptocurrency by default. Xcurrent is Ripple's enterprise solution that is designed for facilitating instantaneous settlement and end-to-end -end tracking of cross-border payments between RippleNet members. Xcurrent does not operate on the same technology as XRP, as it is built around the Interledger Protocol, ILP, which was designed by Ripple as a protocol for connecting different ledgers or payment networks. Xcurrent consists of four different components. The Xcurrent Messenger provides peer-to-peer -peer communication between connected RippleNet financial institutions. It is used to exchange information regarding risk and compliance, fees, FX rates, payment details, and expected time of funds delivery. Validator is used to cryptographically confirm the success or failure of a transaction, and also to coordinate moving of funds across the interledger. Financial institutions can run their own validator or can rely on a third-party validator. ILP Ledger is used as a sub-ledger, which can be incorporated into financial institutions' current ledger. The ILP Ledger is used to track credits, debits, and liquidity across transacting parties. Funds are settled atomically, meaning that they are settled instantly or not at all. FX Ticker is used to define exchange rates between transacting parties. It is also good to note that the same way Xcurrent can handle dollars, euros and other fiat currencies, as well as bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, XRP can also be traded through the system. Xvia allows payment originators and corporates to send international payments through a financial institute that's been connected to RippleNet using an API-based standardized interface. Payments can be attached with rich information like an invoice or payment status. Stay tuned for more content and don't forget to check out our other videos at Binance Academy.